All right, guys, so I just got to see him reap Cambodia, and I am so excited for this place, you guys. Even just driving from the airport to my hotel looked amazing. Um, I also needed an e-visa or just a regular tourist visa because I'm coming from the United States. If you're a US citizen, you have to get a visa. I would recommend getting it ahead of time because then you don't have to wait in line when you get to the airport. Um, but I got mine ahead of time. There was also a mistake in my visa. The interface on the Cambodian government website is not very good. For whatever reason, it'll change your arrival dates and your departure dates and all kinds of <laughs> information. Um, so I had incorrect information on my visa and they still let me through. They didn't hassle me about it, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you're coming from the US or any other country and you need a visa, that might happen to you too. Um, let me show you my hotel. I'm staying at the Royal Crown Hotel and Spa. Um, this place is dirt cheap. I don't know how much it was, but it was really, really cheap. Um, and let me, let me show you guys what it looks like inside. This hotel room tour time. So this is um, a hotel room at the Royal Crown Hotel and Spa. This place is really, really close to the old market. Um, it's really close to the river too. So um, it's kind of in a good central location to everything. Um, Obviously not Anchor, Anchor Watt, because that's way up in the north and you have to get a tour, take a grab there. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. Nope, nothing in the fridge. They never put anything in the fridge. They even have a mini bar with prices, but they don't put anything in the fridge. Um, that's okay though. Um, they give you like that stuff. I haven't looked in here yet. Oh, you got a robe when you come here. Where you get a room down here. Um, let me see what the bathroom looks like. I haven't seen this either, so might be a surprise, you guys. Might be good, might be bad. Um, looks pretty normal to me. So, yeah, this is what the bathroom looks like. They always give you like little things in Southeast Asia, especially toothbrushes. I've noticed they give you toothbrushes everywhere in Southeast Asia. Um, so they give you comb soap, all of these little things. Uh, bathtub. So, yeah, this is what this place looks like. Um, I'm right now I'm staying here for three nights, but I don't have a, a flight out of Siem Reap, so I could stay here longer. I'm just kind of feeling out the place and seeing if I want to stay here longer or not. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm going to get some sleep and yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait for tomorrow. I think it's going to be great. All right, guys. So this is my very first morning in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Tomorrow I'm going to Angkor Wat, but today I'm just going to go explore the town. So let's go. The hotel's right next to a hard rock cafe. I might go in there later just to go see it. This place is really cute though. There's a lot of little tuk-tuks you can go take. They have grab here too. And everything is in USD, which makes it super convenient for me being a US citizen because I can just use my own currency here. And this place is like a really perfect mixture of old and new. They have a little bit of old in their infrastructure, but they have paved streets. Everything is pretty put together. There's not a lot of potholes you see. Well, in this part of town, it might be different than others. But yeah, what a, a great mixture. Everything's updated, but it's also, uh, I mean, it's also traditional. You can go see that market over there. Let's go see that market and see what's over there. I'm curious about that. It's around 5 p.m. here, it's almost 5 p.m. so everything's getting ready to close but there's also another market, a night market here um, where you can go buy all kinds of food and that's what I'm really excited for later on today. But yeah, they have a little bit of everything here. Okay, two dollars. This market's huge, it takes up multiple blocks, it's a really large market and they have quite literally a little bit of everything here.
think so. <laughs> Let's see. market has a little bit of everything here. We have a fish market, we have fruit, clothes, we even have makeup and purses and shoes and just a little bit of everything. One thing that's kind of cool to see is just how affordable it is here because everything's in USD. Usually when you see the prices, um, especially anywhere in Southeast Asia, they're kind of inflated or they're um, they're in the local currency, so you don't really know how cheap everything is, but seeing everything, you know, be 50 cents a dollar, dollar 25, um, it kind of puts into perspective affordable everything is, I should say. Ooh. Lots of flies around the meat market. Look at this street with all these little umbrellas. Isn't this the perfect photo opportunity? So cute. Oh, you guys, there's gonna be so much good food here. I got some rum, rum raisin ice cream and some dragon fruit ice cream. Place says Anchor What Bar? That's so funny. We have places where you can put your feet in these things. I think these are like piranhas, but they basically eat the dead skin off of your feet. So I'm adventurous. I'm gonna try it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Are these like little piranhas? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I want to do it. Oh. Oh, 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 it tickles. Okay. Sorry. You guys, this tickles so much. I don't know if I can do it. I'm, I'm going to try one more time. Oh. I can't do it. You guys, that was fun, but I, I can't put my feet in there. It tickles too much. <laughs> really delicious and it's in a really nice little building um, the coffee shop looks really nice uh, right now I'm headed over to the made in Cambodia market it's like a handicraft market um, so I'm really excited to see all of the handmade um, you know jewelry and kind of crafts that they have over there I think that's gonna be really cool all right guys we are here in the made in Cambodia market so excited for this this is gonna be great Hi. 
All right, guys, well, this was really fun. I think I'm gonna head over to the Starbucks, um, probably go get more coffee and more food because that's all I do is eat. <laughs> I feel like that's all I do is eat when I'm in Southeast Asia because there's so much food everywhere and I just wanna try everything. Um, but I think I'm gonna head over to the night market after that and then I'm gonna go back to my hotel. Um, get some rest. Oh, look at this nice little shopping center over here, you guys. They have Starbucks, Domino's Pizza, Dairy Queen. They have a pizza place. They have a little bit of everything. They even have a mini so. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's like a little Japanese uh, convenience store. But yeah, this place looks so nice. I love the infrastructure here in Cambodia. At least in Siem Reap. Everything's very modern, but again, they, they keep that um, traditional aspect of the town, which is just so important. And um, yeah, it's, it's very nice. of Siem Reap. Wow. I mean, this is such a nice place to visit and it's very, I just like it because it's very, I don't want to say it's westernized, but it, there's a lot of capitalism here. The, the shops and the streets and all of the infrastructure looks very, very nice. Um, but it still keeps that tradition of old Southeast Asia. It's been a mix of everything. It's very nice. I think this would be a great place if you're a brand new traveler and you haven't gone to a lot of places. This is a great place to spend a lot of time in because you still feel like you're at home, but then you also get all of this like really cool cultural, you know, immersement. All right, guys. So right now I am headed over to Angkor Wat. I am so excited to go see this temple. Um, it's not just a temple, you guys. There's all kinds of stuff around this area. It's huge. So all I'm doing is taking a tuk-tuk. It's about $5 from the city um, or from my hotel, the Royal Crown um, Hotel and Spa. So I'm just gonna take one of those, go over there. I you can't buy a ticket at Angkor Wat you have to go to their ticket office which is like four kilometers away from the actual site which is just so strange <laughs> but anyways here we are we're gonna get our ticket okay guys the ticket is $37 USD I would highly highly recommend getting this online they really pressure you to get a three-day pass when you're here. It's really uncomfortable. And you have to, like, you have to come to this separate ticket office. It's not even close to the temple. It's so strange. All right, guys. So I'm finally at Angkor Wat. Angkor means kingdom. And Wat is, of course, the Buddhist temple. So this is kind of like the kingdom of the Buddhist temple or maybe a kingdom Buddhist temple, if you will. Um, I'm really, really excited for this, though. There are lots of tour guides asking to take you when you come down this way if you try to come alone. So just be ready for that. I did actually sign up for a tour, but it left at 4.30 a.m. this morning and I was too tired and I slept right through that. So and that's why um, I'm coming right now on my own. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. This is gonna be super fun. Um, the only other place that I've ever seen ticket sales outside of the main place where the actual, um, you know, the actual event is, is in Tikal, Guatemala. I've only seen that one other time in the entire, uh, you know, 80 plus countries I've been to. So that was a little bit strange, but that's okay. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you though. This uh, bridge is like walking on a big floating cloud. It's actually a floating bridge. It's like plastic too. Wow. Oh. Uh, it looks like we're coming to a worship site up here. I guess the whole monastery is really a worship site, but this is 
one of the statues that they have inside. Guys, this is just the first building. That's the actual anchor bot. Let's go see that. All right, guys, I am sweating like none other. It's about midday, about uh, 12 or 1 p.m. And it is hot out here. So this is why people come in the morning because it is so boiling hot, but I'm so excited. We're getting close. We're gonna go inside. Amazing to think that this temple is 900 years old, you guys. It's almost a thousand years old, and it's still here. This is also the largest religious monument in the entire world, you guys. It's four times the size of Vatican City. It's really, really big. It was actually in deterioration. Um, basically just complete ruins um, until the French came here uh, in the 19th century and the French actually ended up restoring um, this monastery. So that's why it's still standing today. They call this temple the heart and soul of Cambodia. It took 30 years to build. And the reason it's called Kingdom or City of Temples is because there's multiple temples that stretch over the 400 kilometers. The entire complex together is 402 acres. That's just huge. This is the main temple right in the center, but there's tons of temples everywhere. That's why it's called Kingdom or City of Temples. guys we're here at Tapram temple this is really cool to see if you I don't know if you guys can see it on the video but there's faces at the very top really really old faces because it's 900 years old so you can't really see them anymore but there used to be really detailed faces at the very top
I feel like I'm really getting immersed in the Asian culture because I even bought an umbrella to avoid the sun. <laughs> it's just too hot out here, you guys. I would bring sunblock, a hat, an umbrella, something. The trees are really the most impressive part to come see at this temple. The roots are just huge. I really like this grocery store. They actually put the label of, um, well, they put the, the country that the product is from on the label. So you can see like Switzerland for all of the Ricola. Switzerland, Switzerland. These are from Thailand, Germany. It's pretty cool. And they do it with everything.